talk a little bit about Mary Musgrove again. Mary Musgrove has a different name when she was living with the creek. What was her creek name, Emma? Um, Kusapona Kisa. Kusapona Kisa was her name when she was with the creek. Today we're going to talk about her life when she changed her name to Mary Musgrove after she lived with the English settlers for a little bit. I want us to look up here. Our standard was really long, so what I would like, I put it up here today. We're going to talk about, would you repeat after me, students will. Students will. Give examples. Give examples. Of how. Of how. The historical figures. The historical figures. Demonstrate. Demonstrate. We've talked about demonstrate a lot. What does demonstrate mean? Show. The positive. The, the positive. Citizen, citizenship. Citizenship. Traits. Traits. Okay. There's a lot of historical figures we've done. There are a lot of citizen citizenship traits that we've done. So we're going to put Mary Musgrove up here. She is our, she's our what? But the tape isn't on. It's not, is it? What is Mary Musgrove? She's our historical figure. And she showed the, the dependability. All right, so what we're going to do today, your job during our lesson today, is you're going to look for ways that Mary Musgrove was dependable. We're going to look in our text in just a second to pull evidence from our text to show how she was dependable. Before we do that, I want to connect this to real life. How are ways that you are dependable for your mom, your dad, your teacher, your brother, your sister? I want you to turn and talk to your neighbor. What is one way that you are dependable to other people? Sir, Kate? Three. Oh, I only got to three today. You're awesome listeners today. If you have something you'd like to share, you can do a thumbs up. I'll call on a couple groups. I want you to tell me. I am dependable. Uh, can you show me one way you're dependable at your house? Yes. Um, um, I'm dependable when I take out the trash. You take out the trash. So your mom and dad can count on you to take out the trash. Hey, then tell me an example when you're dependable. It also means trouble. It does mean trustworthy. So do you have an example of how you're trustworthy or dependable? Um, are you my friend my dad wants me to? So your dad can depend on you to eat the right food so that you're healthy. Mm -hmm. I'm dependable to watch my dog. How do you watch your dog? Like feed him and give him water. So you're dependable. Your mom and dad can depend on you to help take care of your dog, right? Awesome. So those are ways that you're dependable. Right now... I'm going to give you our book again, our social studies text on Mary Musgrove. I have a page marked. Some of you are going to read the pages about where she worked at a trading post, and then some of you are going to read pages where she was an interpreter. So you're going to find your sticky note, work with your partner, read those two pages. You're looking for examples from the text of how she was Dependable. So that's what you're going to share out with me, working with your partner. So Marissa, you and your partner talked. Were you talk reading the section about her being in the training post or about her being an interpreter? We read the part when she was being in the training post. So you read about her working at the training post. How was... Mary Musgrove dependable by working at the trading post. She um, traded the, um, the settlers the right goods that they wanted. Alec, what part did you and your partner read? Um, that she was dependable on for like um for not letting the creek down for not um like um like um not do, doing a trading post. Okay. So she kept it. She kept the trading post. So when the settlers came, the creek were afraid what? That they might try to steal things. That they might try to steal things, but she made the trading post. Yes. Was it a fair place? Yes. It was a fair place. So they, she gave them the right stuff that they needed to survive. The trading post stayed fair. And that was from the creek's point of view, right? Yeah. yeah. So, 
So we have the settler's point of view that she gave them the correct things to survive, and we have the creek's point of view that the trading post stayed fair. What about like, um, I love that they're pulling evidence from their text that says they never really traded the same thing. The English didn't give a deer skin to the creek who already had a deer skin. They traded things that each other didn't have. Didn't have. I love that. They have to trust Mary Musgrove. James is saying, I need to build land, but I want to share. And she's got to go talk in another language. Does he have to trust that she's saying exactly what he said? Yeah. If you're interpreting for someone, do you have to make sure you're saying exactly what each group says? Yeah. Even though they can't. James didn't speak Creek. He didn't know what she was telling Tomachichi. Tomachichi didn't speak English. He didn't know what she was telling James Oglethorpe. So they had to what with Mary Musgrove? Mark. They had to work together and they had to trust what she was saying. All right. So we have found several ways from your text that Mary Musgrove was what? Dependable. Dependable. And when we come back to that, who was our historical figure? Mary Musgrove. What was her positive citizen citizenship trait? Dependability. Did we find some ways that she was dependable? Yes. Okay, you may close your book. I have an activity for you that's going to show me whether or not you understand how Mary Musgrove was dependable.